Project Hawkeye is looking at the impact of fire on biodiversity, particularly prescribed burning. It's a statewide project working in three areas of the state, the Mallee, the Otways and Gippsland. Um, and my own location is East Gippsland uh, and one of the reasons that's important is because uh, a lot of the state's burning is achieved there um, and some of the, the particular vegetation types uh, and animals that we have may be vulnerable to burning. The reason that the Otways has been chosen is because it's recognised as a biodiversity hotspot which means that um, there's a lot of unique species here and it's uh, an area that's been recognised as posing a high risk uh, to people and to property as a result of um, wildfire. The Mallee has been chosen because it has a unique kind of flora. It's found nowhere else in the state with the trees uh, having a particular formation. They're quite short. And the other reason it was chosen is that we already have some quite good data about the impact of fire on biodiversity in that region. So we're here today to get some guidance in uh, botanical survey techniques from a, an expert at the Arthur Isler Institute, David Cheel, uh, and he's explaining to us the, the flora monitoring program uh, that's undertaken for the, the overall fire monitoring that's done in Victoria. We're keen to develop consistent approach to our assessment of the impact of fire on vegetation across the state. Photography is a, a really important skill for us in terms of um, helping us to identify plants and animals in the field. The important thing about monitoring is that um, it gives us a long-term record of um, plants and animals in this case that um, we can measure change in. So if we don't have information about a system before fire goes through it, we can't really document what's happened to it as a result of fire. So um, it gives us a long-term indication of what's happening in the environment as, um, as fire progresses through the system.